What's going on guys, Nico here, and welcome to the second video in the four part series where we are breaking down the top 20 melodies written by Avicii. So as I mentioned earlier, I have every song here annotated with the chord progressions and melodies, and I'm presenting my findings to you. So in this video, we are gonna walk through these five songs, Hold the Line, Without You, Wake Me Up, Waiting for Love, and hey brother, I highly suggest you watch these videos from start to finish if you're serious about improving your songwriting and wanna take away tips from one of the most popular songwriters of all time, Avicii. With that being said, let's jump into it and get to work. Quick announcement before we get started, I'm giving away a free piano lesson, so comment down below Piano Mastery if you want a chance to win. I pick one winner, every week from the comment section. Additionally, for all the music producers out there, you can download my Avicii chord progression MIDI pack for free. It's down below in the description. And with that being said, let's get into these next five melodies. So the first song we're gonna go over is Hold the Line and the melody sounds like this. I'm gonna play everything again on the white keys in the key of C, here we go. By the way, the chord progression, I'm not sure if it's the exact right one, but I'm gonna use this one because I think it sounds good. So here we go. All right, so let's walk through what's going on here. Let's break it down section by section. And the first section I see, So Vici is using these notes right here. I see a lot of, you know, six, five, three. It's a common melody starter that he's using a lot. And then. All right, and then the second part of this melody right here, cause it's broken down into four parts. The second part sounds pretty similar. Except he repeats the G and the E the second time around another time, right? And now we go into the second part, you know, the second, I guess, half of this melody right here, the last three parts, the last two parts. So this first, the first five notes in each part of the, you know, the first three sections of this melody, it's, it's the same kind of rhythmic pattern. And I suggest playing, if you have the keyboard, you should try to like pause the video and play through some of these smaller parts of it because you may naturally just come up with an idea or a thought that you can song write to. But I want you to watch the whole video so make sure you do that too. And then the third and fourth part of the melody we go. And then we go. We got a little call and response action going on. So what Avicii's doing is he's actually doing something I call an octave jump bridge between the third and fourth part of his melody. So he goes, and then he jumps A up here. And then we go up. And then we jump up an octave. So then he uses the 6-5-3. That's a pretty common part of Avicii's melodies, that 6-5-3 component right there. So that's Hold the Line. Again, it's not too crazy of a melody, but it is, again, pretty catchy. And you could see why, because Avicii's using a lot of different, almost repeated rhythmic patterns throughout each part of the melody. And then what he does is he has some really good call and response going on um, with, you know, the first, if you just look at the first two parts of the melody, uh, or the first, excuse me, five notes in each of the first three parts of the melody. I know it's confusing, but if you look at the first three sections that I have, what we have is. It's like that call and response going back and forth. And the one other part of this melody that I enjoy is when he goes from the third section to the fourth section where he'll go. That octave jump is great. I love octave jumps. I use octave jumps a ton in my songwriting. 
Okay, let's keep on going because without you is gonna be a bit longer because we're gonna go into a couple melodic parts. And I'm gonna go through the introductory part that sounds like this. But I will do that playing in the key of C, so that will sound like this. Right away, call and response going on, absolutely. We have basically the first and second part of this are exactly the same except for the last few notes. And this is what Avicii does. He likes to change up the last few notes and repeat most of the you know melody structure over and over again. So here we go. Really, you're just using the one, two, three, and then he's adding in. And then we keep going to the third part of this melody, which sounds like this. All right, so there's four parts in this melody. The second and the fourth are the same. The first and the third have a little bit of variation. Let me show you what that variation is. The third time around, I butchered it, but here's how it should sound. Instead of the first time. All that's different here is he's adding in a G at the top. So here we go. And that's the melody. That's the introductory melody, melody that he uses. Now on the drop, this is how the melody sounds. So we go into the... Whoops. Now I love this melody and there's a lot of reasons why I like it. So first off, what Avicii is doing with the... So the chord progressions F, G, and A. And he's using the third in each of these chord progressions to make the top melody. So it goes... The F major chord, you jump the A up an octave right here. And then if you take the, you know, the G major chord, jump the B up an octave. A minor chord, jump the C up an octave. Here we go. So we go... time we touch by Cascada, same thing, right? And that song came before Without You, so there you go. Avicii may have been influenced by Cascada, or I'm not sure how you say her name, but you know the song every time we touch. Anyway, first part, and then we go into... So... So he's using like double notes, if, if you want to call them that. So he does a glide up up the scale, so he goes... So he literally just plays up the scale, and then he plays the, the 5 and the 6 of the key of C. So he goes up, and then he gets back into the, you know, the... He goes down. So he plays A, B, C, D, E, and then he'll end up playing a couple of double notes in there, right? Like. So he goes up, a couple double notes, and then back down. And then we repeat this again. Right, so in this part, he's repeating the same. that last chord right there. So the second part of the melody, I'll break down the... He's using these five notes to create the... And then he's jumping all the way up to the C up here. So what he's using what I call the five, eight, seven, six melody starter. And again, 
I'm glancing over certain different parts of this melody. I'm not breaking it down entirely. I'm not breaking down all the notes and all the rig patterns. I'm just giving you pieces of each one to take away from. And you may be noticing things that I'm not even noticing, right? Because you have a different viewpoint and may see things a bit differently. But basically, what's going on here is it's just a lot of repeating. He has the one glide up. He's using the double notes, which you could use in your melodies. Then he goes back down. And then we go bum bum. So I'm noticing a lot of these double notes again, like even the bum bum, bum bum, double double, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Yeah, I'm just noticing that right now for the first time, like, oh wow, those first notes are double notes too. And then he will go. So that's without you. Those are a couple pieces to take away from. Let's go into Wake Me Up, Waiting for Love, and Hey Brother, and then we'll wrap. I know these videos are long, guys, but again, there's a lot of stuff in the Vici's melodies that I don't want to miss. This one is a very simple melody though, and it sounds like this. Transpose that real quick. All right, so I just transposed that live. The five six one, you know, also known as the five six eight melody starter. Guys, we've only used these three notes to play all of that. One, two, three. And I'm playing an A minor F, C, G chord, by the way, just so you know. So Vici uses a lot of the 5-6-1 or 5-6-8 melody starter and the 1-2 and 3. He combines these notes a lot and messes with rhythmic patterns. That's Wake Me Up. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the only melody that I want to break down in that song. Now let's go into Waiting for Love, which is a very interesting melody that sounds a bit different from the other ones that he's written. Or does it? Here we go. A minor, uh, G, and F chord. All right, so let's break it down to the four slices that I have here, the four different parts. Oh, what do you know? The five, six, one melody starter. And then what do we get to next? The three, five, six melody starter. And then the one, two, three melody starter, right? And then we go back again and the melody kind of repeats and then it goes like this. I like this one a lot. So he goes from the octave up here, the one, and then he goes to the, the three, two, one. That's a really unique one, guys. I like that one a lot. But again, what do we have? Three, two, one. And then he goes, so three, two, one, or three, one, two. So the way he ends that melody is actually how he starts off the beginning of the next melody. So it's almost like he's preparing us to listen to it again, right? So if I play through this one more time for you guys, and the chord progression is not the exact one from the song, I'm just playing it as I, as I go through all these melodies. one hey brother and I'm gonna play this real quick Alright, so hey brother, let's break down this melody here. 
So he starts off with, you know, going dun dun dun. These are the notes we have going on right here. We have the six, seven, one, three, five, six. So he goes down, then he goes back up. Breaking out a C major chord right here. And then he goes, again, the five, six, one melody starter used in you know, almost every song now. And that's how Avicii got that signature sound. He used the melody starter over and over and over again until it became his. Um, okay, so. And then we keep going. So he has a nice little interlude here. Again, repeat the first part. Five or six, five, three, five, and then he goes back into. I like that last ending part because it's almost like an octave jump. You're going pretty far down in the movement, so you're like. And then he'll go back into. So the couple of few things I wanted to show you there was one, uh, you know, this melody is is a great melody. There's a couple of small things that I really like away from it. Again, that melody starter. And again, the six, five, three melody starter too is great. And I like how at the end when he goes, bum, 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 he goes back down almost an octave. So with that being said, that concludes this video. Thanks so much for watching from this. Hope you got some value out of it. And I mean, Avicii's melodies are great. They're the reason why people are still listening to his music and he's one of the top uh, listened artists to in the world. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to learn. And again, comment Piano Mastery if you want the chance to work with me one-on-one -on -one for absolutely free. I pick one winner from the comment section every Friday. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in part three of the Avicii Melody series.